हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस लेक्चर अगेन आई विल कंटिन्यू द सेम चैप्टर चैप्टर थर्टीन रिपेयर टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर कंक्रीट स्ट्रक्चर सो इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर ऑलरेडी आई हैव डिस्कस्ड डिफरेंट कॉजेस फॉर डिफेक्ट्स इन कंक्रीट स्ट्रक्चर देन टाइप्स ऑफ कंक्रीट डिफेक्ट्स देर कॉजेस प्रिवेंसन ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड देन टाइप्स ऑफ क्रैक्स इन फ्रेश एंड हार्ड एंड कंक्रीट so today in today's class i will discuss the different methods to repair cracks so already i have told in previous lecture that these are some methods like concrete crack repair by epoxy injection routing and sealing stitching and cracks drilling and plugging uh, grouting method of crack repair so these are some methods are available for concrete crack repair so let us discuss one by one first is concrete crack repair by epoxy injection as shown in the figure figure is shown here this method of concrete crack repair may be used to bond the cracks having greater than or equal to 0.05 mm openings and this method is not suitable for crack is active and if the cracks are large in number or when the water leakage cannot be controlled and uh, in this method of concrete crack repair the cracks on exposed concrete surfaces are sealed by injection epoxy under the concrete crack and the epoxy injection method of crack repairing requires a lot of discipline and skillful personality so need to be sure that the person executing the repairs knows his work and epoxy resin loses strength when exposed to fire or sustained elevated temperatures and uh, fire proofing protection is required for such structural repairs next is routing and sealing uh, routing and sealing the cracks is a much more common and a much simpler method to repair cracks that said it can be only used in cases where only remedial crack repairing is required and structural repairs are not needed the routing and sealing of cracks in concrete can be used for inactive cracks not involving the restoration of tensile strength and under this method the crack is enlarged along its exposed face and the v shaped groove is formed of to a minimum width of 6 mm and a depth of 6 to 25 mm and this v shape this v shaped groove is filled and sealed with suitable material this is a popular concrete repair technique or method number 3 is stitching of cracks or so stitching the cracks like this it is the easiest and long lasting method of repairing concrete cracks and in this method a number of the hole drilled along the crack surface and stitched with metallic wire and uh, this metallic used shaped wire is then passed through holes and anchored strongly in the holes with grout or an epoxy based system so next is drilling and plugging basically it is used for wall crack repair methods when it is required to repair a vertical crack in the concrete that runs in straight lines this is a good method for its cost effectiveness and less time consuming like this and in this method holes are drilled vertically in the cracks and a key is formed by passing down a grout and the grout key drilled in concrete helps in preventing leakages next is grouting method of crack repair in case of gravity dam and concrete wall large sized crack formed they can be repaired by filling with portland cement grout and this grouting method is effective in stopping water leaks but it will not structurally bond cracked sections next another term this is jacketing it is an important thing uh, maximum time it is asked in your exam 
so jacketing is the process whereby a section of an existing structural member is restored to original dimensions or increased in size by encasement using suitable materials like this here the jackets like extra structure are provided around the column so these are known as jacketing jacketing is particularly used for the repair of deteriorated columns spires piles and may easily be employed in underwater applications so for jacketing the void between the form and the existing member is filled using pumping or replaced aggregate concrete the method is applicable for protecting concrete steel and timber sections against further deterioration and for strengthening a drawback of jacketing or jackets and collars is that they occupy space that was earlier available for other uses next let's let us see what is the necessity of jacketing like the load carried by column is increased when there is an error in design the deterioration of column due to weathering action disapplication of column heavy damage due to other causes like earthquake fire so some advantages of uh, jacketing are like it increases the seismic capacity of column amount of work is less as foundation strengthening does not required it increases the shear strength of column it also increases confinement of concrete in circular columns also there are we can see different types of jacketing like reinforced concrete jacketing steel jacketing fiber reinforced polymer composite jacket and jacket with high tension materials like carbon fiber glass fiber etc so these are all about the jacketing so with this the chapter 13 is completed and also the concrete technology completed thank you